Um, I'm standing here at George Galloway's campaign headquarters. George Galloway, did you just watch the Prime Minister's speech? I didn't watch it, but I understood the first part of it related to the Rochdale by-election. The Prime Minister has just said that the election of you to Parliament is beyond horrifying. What do you say to that? Well, I can understand how disappointed he is about the by-election. The Conservative Party, which is the government of the country, was crushed, not just by me, but by an independent candidate that no one had ever heard of before outside of Rochdale. So it was a disastrous night for the Conservatives and a disastrous night for Labour. I got more votes than Labour and the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats and the Reform Party put together, which adds up to a pretty crushing rejection of the two-party system. So I understand why he's alarmed. Um, I want you to address some of the specifics that the Prime Minister uh, said about you this evening. He said that you backed Hezbollah. Is that true? I don't know what that means, backed Hezbollah. I oppose Israel's occupation of Lebanon and I respect the right of people in occupied territory to resist their occupier. Uh, and I've done so since Hezbollah was formed and Israel occupied much of Lebanon right up to the Litani River, regularly bombing Beirut and so on. Uh, so I'm not sure what business that is of his, because, you see, they... Hezbollah they are said, a terrorist, terrorist organisation. Actually, and they're he, part of the government of Lebanon, a country with which we have sovereign diplomatic relations. I had this debate with Sky's Anna Botting in 2006. It's quite an epic clip. You should watch it more than 100 million people have. Uh, they, they said all these things about me in the by-election. And in the by-election, it was them that got crushed in the democratic process. So I'm not sure why he would reheat it. Now, the Prime Minister is saying we talk that as you if are... This is God. We're talking I'm... about little Rishi Sunak in the fag end of his prime ministership. Don't talk to me as if he's come down from the mount with tablets of stone, the things that he says are somehow meant to awe me. They may awe you, they don't awe me. A lot of people have just watched what the Prime Minister said. This is your opportunity to respond to what he said. Well, he says that the, uh, there are forces here at home trying to tear us apart. He is implying you are a divisive well, figure. Well, you have that, run an election campaign that has that has tried to appeal particularly, and who not won? entirely, who to won? one section of the community. Who won the election? Me or Rishi Sunak? I've got the democratic mandate here, not Rishi Sunak. He didn't even come second. He was lucky to come third. So don't put to me statements made by Rishi Sunak as if I'm supposed to be impressed by them. We he, don't, he don't impress me much. We at Sky have spent some time today on the streets of Rochdale, and there are people who say that they feel intimidated oh, by God. people around, like, like you and the people that have supported I you. I have just and they, and, they, and they have pointed I out have... that you have concentrated your campaign on foreign affairs, and they worry that Rochdale I... will not I be the winner. Mandate. That's my answer to you. I was just elected with a thumping majority by the electorate in Rochdale. That's all that matters to me. So why are there people in the streets of Rochdale well, I, today worried? Well, people voted yesterday, and they voted for me. Why is that difficult for you to grasp? Why are there people on the streets worried? There may be people who didn't vote for me who are worried, but the majority, the thumping majority, voted for me. I've got the mandate, and I'm going to the House of Commons with it. And it's a mandate, you think, to do... What? Because there are people that listen to what you say, mm. what you say about whether or not Israel has a right to exist, what you say about what many Jewish people think are we, threatening we, we had slogans. We had conversation last night. Why are you reheating it? Because in the light of the Prime Minister's in Don't keep statement. telling me about the Prime Minister as if he was Moses. Do you not respect the Prime Minister? <laughs> he's, 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 I don't res Do I respect the Prime Minister? I despise the Prime Minister. And We're guess what? Older. Guess We're what? Millions and millions and millions of people in this country despise the Prime Minister. I don't respect the Prime Minister at all. What are you planning to do next week when you arrive in Parliament? 
Well, I'm meeting the speaker on Monday morning, and then I'll be introduced and sworn in. I'll be escorted by the Right Honourable David Davis MP, former deputy leader of the Conservative Party. I don't know why he would do that if he thought I was the kind of man you're clearly implying that I am. David Davis is one of the great parliamentarians uh, of today and this age. Uh, and I'll be taking my seat in the House of Commons and speaking for the people of Rochdale. That's what I was elected to do. And what is your message also to Keir Starmer? My message to Keir Starmer is that the skids are under you uh, in scores of Labour seats up and down the country because you've lost the trust, you've lost the confidence Absolutely. of millions of your traditional loyal voters. Now, we have, had, we have now had an election where two of the candidates have alleged intimidation. The Prime Minister referenced that intimidation in his address you on the steps of... to the Prime Minister as if that's supposed uh, uh, to impress me. The Prime, Minister is a, the, the Prime Minister is a rather diminutive, diminished and degraded politician. He made a party political statement. I, I, I don't care about Rishi Sunak's attitude. What I care about is that the returning officer, a man of unimpeachable integrity, I'm sure you'll agree, declared it a free and fair election and me as the winner and Rishi Sunak as one of the crushed two big parties in the state. So yeah. why are two, what, so why are two are you candidates... Going to keep repeating the same questions to me because I have other people to talk to. So let's make this the last one, shall we? We've got a party to go with. Allegations of intimidation, allegations that your supporters intimidated That's other candidates. What times you think? you've said that. The returning officer declared it last night. You were there as a free and fair election and me as the winner. And the well, Electoral Commission, and the electoral commission you're, today have you're, said you're, that they're going to look and talk to the parties. You have to just suck it up. I won the election. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much indeed.